Well, hello, tubers. It had to be said. Unfortunately, Bob Wells, you know, cheap RV living, you know, the guy with the big beard that looks scraggly and homeless, even though he has a six-figure plus income, you know the guy. <laughs> in spite of him for years advocating homelessness and living in your car, living in your van, um, he was wrong. And this is the time that it has to be discussed. Time to speak truth to power. And am I riding on his coattails? Oh boy, no, I've got my own money that's independent in various sources from this stupid little YouTube thing, which ad revenues are collapsing. It's the way it is. I'll keep doing videos because it's a hobby. That's all it's gonna be, man. <laughs> it's a hobby for 99% of people. And uh, those that are making a few bucks now will be making very, very little starting soon. But hey, as for Bob, this is the time when um, we have to speak truth. Campgrounds are closing all over the place. Places to shower are closing. There are few, if any, gyms open. Truck stops are, you know, limiting who can shower. It's not a time to be living in your van. It never was, actually. But now during crisis, the actual fallacy of that argument is rearing its head and showing its ugly truth. And it has to be said. I feel for all of you that are living on 700 bucks a month or less, stuck somewhere. You can't afford to get into an RV park because the few that are open aren't cheap. Everywhere you park, you're being shooed along. Every day you're going out without a shower. This is not a good time to be, uh, you know, skipping on the hygiene. We got a serious problem here. Almost every industry is shutting down. It's pretty much easier to say that everything is shutting down except for healthcare, law enforcement, and medicine, and food distribution, and grocery stores, some pharmacies. That's about it. That's it, man. Everything else is shutting down. And Bob was wrong. You would have been better off to take your 700 bucks a month and move to India. Rent yourself a tiny little apartment. Yeah, or you could just self-isolate and have a running water roof over your head. In fact, I do know an RV nomad who's in the Philippines, sense of style. I would call him a friend and he's doing okay out there. A lot better than if he was in his RV in Los Angeles. Hey, I, I have to speak it. So Bob, with your declining revenue, uh, I wonder how much money you're going to be throwing into the stimulus plan for the bucket poopers. And don't get me started even about that. I've seen your videos where you talk about pooping in a bucket and pooping outside and maybe digging a hole. It's not cool, man. It's not cool. And the fact that YouTube allows you to monetize and talk about that, nah, I just don't get it. Of course, the virus spreads in feces, and the last thing I want is people pooping in buckets or outside. No, they should be in an RV park, a campground with a toilet, or at home. So I beg all of you RV nomads, if you have any family or friends anywhere, you need to seek shelter at their home. Find a way that you can safely be there and use their facilities. If they have two bathrooms, ask them if you can have one that you can just use. That way there's no transmission of the pathogen. You gotta ask for help now. I know as a conservative I pride myself on not asking for help for anything, but there are times you have to. Heck, last month I was trapped in the wilderness because of a road washout. I had to ask for help and send money to people to get me groceries and fuel. I had to do that. Now there's times we have to come together as the human race and look out for our fellow brothers and sisters. And this is the time to do that. It's not the time to be profiting. Well, the fact that I'm hearing a train means that the freight's moving. That's actually a good sign. But now is not the time to be profiting off the homeless and telling them to keep living in a van. No. 
it's not the time to be in your van. It's the time to be quarantined where you have proper sanitation, proper health care, things that I advocate for all the time. I know I come across as a contrarian all the time to all these bucket pooper advocates and long-haired messiahs. That's because I am. I advocate thrift, pay your bills, work. There's even people with disabilities that work, sometimes very severe ones. Yeah, it can be done with faith. Faith in yourself. That's all it takes. And I actually have faith in you. So it's time for us to come together as a human family, help one another, and quit snowballing people with a bunch of BS about living in a van is all freaking great. <laughs> it's not. In fact, if I wasn't in a place now with water, sewerage, cable TV, internet, life would suck. It wouldn't be that great. And for those of you watching this in your van, stuck somewhere on BLM land in Arizona or God knows where, and you're all alone, yeah, you're not being exposed to any pathogens, but it's not good for your mental health to do that for long periods of time. And this could easily go on for months. We could be facing a serious depression. I'm not saying that because I want it to happen, because I don't. I want everybody to get on with their lives, but things are getting worse every day. And governments around the world can't pay people to sit on their butt day after day, week after week, month after month can't be done. There will be consequences financially for everybody and our combined standard of living will suffer. So Bob, Bob Wells, you're wrong. I'm not proud that you're wrong, but it's time for you to dial it back a bit. And um, I think Bob came to do good, but instead he did well. <laughs> That's the way uh, a lot of messiahs and gurus in any genre do. That's how it happens, folks. Seen it over and over. The history books are littered with it, and it's happening now. So I wish you all the best, safety, and health wherever you are watching this in the world today. Take care of yourselves and each other, and keep your wheels to the ground. I'll talk to you soon. Over and over.